Hey everyone, Irit here with another process video for HipKit Club. I am starting from the middle. <laughs> no, not really. I didn't do a lot here. Uh, what I did was I used a white piece of cardstock from the cardstock kit and I rubbed on some of the Vicky Vutin rub-ons that came in one of the kits. I'm using the April 2017 kits. And then I used the packaging technique and added some shimmers mists from past kits. In um, I used colorings mists, you can see them on screen on the right side, in pink stiletto, which is a hot pink, and uh, no yokin, which is a very bright yellow. And then I decided I wanted to add also some of the um, crayons and I just used a little bit of water or you can also just add a bit of spray to uh, kind of dissolve the um, pigment and um, I also use that and you can see that they are less watery uh, not surprisingly <laughs> so you kind of work uh, you kind of have to work a little bit more to smear them um, but you get a nice kind of um, variety of looks is what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry, I already recorded half of this narration and then of course my computer crashed, crashed, crashed. <laughs> so <laughs> um, yeah, I lost all my good jokes and sense of humor and <laughs> I put it all into that first um, narration, you know, spontaneity and all and now I'm messing this one up. So yeah, um, the crayons you can also just rub them directly on the paper and on the rub-ons um, but then if you want to uh, have that resist look then you need to wipe off the rub-ons with the excess um, paint on them or crayons in this case so just try it it's a lot of fun um, these crayons kind of paint on everything so and yeah it's like being a kid painting with crayons it was really really fun <laughs> so you can see once I got some color down I decided to just add some scribbles I love how that looked it's so playful and fun really fun to make I highly highly recommend trying it and I actually see myself using any photo that I have with this type of background but I end up using a photo of my baby girl on a swing so it's very playful and you know the theme is like a baby child theme um, so I think it worked really well um, you know the style of this type of like messy sketchy scribble uh, background and I actually made this, I was just curious because um, we were talking in the design team about the um, rub-ons and I haven't tried them yet and I wanted to try them. So I just started playing with them and this was kind of an experiment and then I put it away. And a week later I was um, actually making this layout and you'll see how I get to that background. <laughs> so I printed two photos on a four by six piece of photo paper on my Canon selfie and I'm trimming it with my new tonic uh, smaller uh, trimmer there. I have to say I'm a little freaked out uh, by that big blade <laughs> and I'm very very uh, conscious about um, my fingers being close to that blade but um, yeah I'm brave and I suffer for my art. So anyway here are the photos. I wanted to use them. I wanted to um, yeah, document this and I'm going through the backgrounds. I liked how that stripe looked but it was just a touch too busy. This one I really loved but I have already used this paper as a background so I decided to try something different and I was just going through all the papers that I have in the kit and you can see also some scraps and yeah soon I will reach the background that I created the, that was just like hidden um, in this pile and once I put it put the photos on it it was just like this is perfect the yellow in the swing was um, really bringing out the yellow in the background or the other way around whatever and the green in the pictures was a nice contrast to um, the pink mostly and yeah so 
I'm just going to adhere these two photos together so it's a bit easier to move them around and now I'm going to try every orientation possible and see which one I like best and now that I'm looking at it I'm thinking that actually they all look great I really love the fun happy background uh, but I'm going to end up with this one I think it just felt the more the most um, I don't know kind of it worked best I think with just the general design you know having those two photos kind of in a vertical arrangement and then all the uh, messy stuff also in that um, you know very loose vertical so from now on it was pretty fast I actually this video isn't um, sped up all that fast I think I just doubled the time or something like this so it took me probably around like 20 minutes 20 something minutes um, really fast and easy so these word chipboard words actually work perfectly also for my um, subject and the color scheme but I don't know I felt they were getting a little bit lost because the background was the busy and they had this color change and yeah I just wasn't really working so I thought maybe I would use these Bella Boulevard um, these are words <laughs> Duh. <laughs> so this narration is really enriching I know it's like so informative and enriching so here's another possibility I thought about they are made of plastic that's what I want to tell you um, just so you know what I'm using here <laughs> and I actually like this uh, title that says love your happy smile um, but I end up not using it and I kind of looking at it now I really wish I had used it I don't know looks pretty good to me <laughs> so this was a little bit getting stuck stage and thinking the problem was that I just loved how everything looked you know just with my photos and that messy background and I found um, adding anything else really challenging so I don't know it's just maybe I shouldn't have adhered the photos um, to one another so early because I felt that it kind of limited my possibilities and of course you know it, they're not stuck with like super glue um, but I didn't I guess I didn't want to move them or something so adding a bit of that washi love that washi um, and now I thought okay I can use these words that came in the color kit and these would actually be great obviously for customizing and you know you can use the crayons with them um, but because I had such a busy background I actually decided that they were really pretty um, on their own white and pristine and yeah so I just used them like this and I did add after I filmed everything and took the pictures and did everything um, because I have on my background a lot of stuff like the crayons and the rub-ons the stickers didn't uh, stick perfectly um, it's not the stickers fault it's just hard to um, get stuck on something like crayons and rub-ons <laughs> but um, I ran it through my sewing machine just to make sure so if you are you know gluing something on top of mixed media backgrounds just make sure that either you use a strong adhesive or that you stitch it somewhere like use some way to be absolutely sure that this won't fall off like you know a day later in your page protector or um, in the pile where <laughs> your layouts are mine are not in a pile anymore I have to say mine are in albums I'm very proud of myself I do have a big box with layouts that are not in albums but those are old ones and maybe one day I will get to them <laughs> most of my layouts are in albums so I finally managed to commit and um, and adhere my title and I you see that I used wonderful happy memories and I like the mix of fonts I think it looks very cute and now I'm kind of struggling to find something else to add um, I don't know just because as I said I really liked 
the background and the photos and it was just working really well for me but um, yeah it was still looking kind of bare and you know I wanted to use all these gorgeous um, embellishments that I have so I'm going to try a few things and eventually I'm going to add a very little just a few stickers to you know just add some more pops of color and then my journaling and another strip of that lovely um, washi tape at the bottom just to ground things a little bit to balance because most of like the mess here is on the I don't know let's say top half of the layout and then I just wanted to add something to the bottom to balance that so I'm also using some of these phrase stickers uh, again from the Vicky Boutin stickers in the color kit and they are made on kind of nice uh, thick cardstock so you can totally use watercolor or um, you know the crayons on them but I have yeah I kept it simple after this and I'm using the My Mind's Eye stickers just here and there I think these are like these diamond shapes you're supposed to fold them but I didn't fold them I just used them like they were like this it looked really cute <laughs> and I also add I really like that um, I want to say pine tree but it's not is it it's not pine tree is it pine no it's not pine pine is something else what is this tree called palm palm trees okay okay I'm not losing my mind <laughs> so I used I added that little palm tree <laughs> at the top and yeah and then in the last minute you see that large um, crate paper camera snuck in um, just because I really like it and I thought it looked good there even though the colors are quite softer than the background so maybe I'll go and take it off <laughs> no 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 I'm just kidding I like it just trying because I used foam adhesive foam to beneath my photo and camera I'm just trying to make sure everything is um, you know properly adhered and in the same height and yeah that's it washi tape in the bottom um, a few puffy stickers from my mind's eye again these are super cute I really love them colors are so happy and fun and I'm going to add my journaling and that will be it so I really hope that you try creating a similar background it was so 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 much fun um, just lots of fun playing with these goodies I wish you a lovely day leave me a comment if you have any questions thank you for watching bye